now we have the direction okay and now we also need the speed so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna directly set up the speed we're gonna set up the speed and the speed is gonna be uh, let's see we already have a vector okay and this is a velocity we want to convert that into speed and speed is a scalar value while velocity is a vector that's why it's returning a vector so the best thing to do is to calculate this convert this into a float value so that would be vector length squared okay so this will return a float for us as you can see this is returning a float and that gets plugged in into speed so now we are setting up the speed as well as the direction okay so we have actually set up the speed but before we set up the speed despite us calculating the direction we did not set up the direction so let's do that first I'm going to set the direction now, say set direction, put them up here, connect that now and just connect this return value to the direction of uh, the direction variable. So now we have a neat little, okay, I think this should go up here. Now it's all in the same line like this. That's good. Okay. And so now we have a neat little method of calculating the speed and the direction based on the velocity of the player. The player is moving in and also the direction that the player is looking at okay with all that set up i'm going to hit compile and again it's going to show me two warnings uh, there are no results and it's also firing this up but it's not going to do anything right now and because it doesn't know it what it's actually saying here is it will never be taken please connect something to can enter transition now if i click on this it's going to come in here okay that's because it's the idle to walk to run the rule the rule meaning when i go back to walk run the idle the state machine so there are two states out here there's one as idle and there's one as walk run now it doesn't know where exactly to go okay this is idle to walk run and this is walk run to idle so we haven't yet told the engine when to transition from idle to walk run which is what we're going to do so when I double click that it's going to come here or you can just this that's what this warning is all about we don't it says that you have to connect something to can enter transition and you also have to connect something to walk run back to idle yeah okay so the way we're gonna set this up is it's actually asking for and can enter transition now if you just want to check it if you just want to test it out you can simply you can simply check this on and it will directly enter the idle to walk and run but otherwise if you actually you know you, you want to test based on the speed or the walking speed of the character you have to look at the speed of the character and, and you know, compare it against a certain value. So think I can say float greater than float, so float greater than equal to float. Okay. And first I'll have that. So now this is going to be the speed value. And now we have to figure out what value should be, it should be, should it be greater than equal to or greater than in order for the player to enter the blend space of running. Okay. So, and this can be, you can either add it here directly or you can create a variable. So let me create a variable and I can say idle to run, idle to run threshold, I guess, threshold. And this will be a float and I compile this and this will be, let's say a value of 10. Okay. The default value is 10 and I'll say, let me add that here. Okay. So if speed is greater than or equal to 10 for that moment. This can enter the transition okay and I compile that and now we have to also take care of the walk run to the idle transition and then we can test it out okay so now you can either check in fact i'll just put this here because i don't need anything more complex so it's all in the same line it's looking good now one thing remains is walk run to idle will never be taken please connect something to can enter transition now you can either go back here and you can click on double click on this or you can simply click on this because it's actually giving it to you it's giving it away to you so i can click on this and i can enter there or if you want to enter if there is no warning here and you don't know how to enter then this is these are the buttons that you got to double click and it will take you in there so again out or not here but if i go to walk run and if i double click this that's this is what we implemented come back here and this is what remains to be implemented so i double click that and now we do the same thing but in opposite so we again look for less than equal to this time in fact float less than equal to float okay float less than equal to float and again 
we're going to check whether the speed is less than equal to idle to run threshold. So if speed is less than 10, then it's going to be entering the idle. Uh, it's going to enter back in the idle state. Okay. If it's greater than 10, it's going to be entering the walk run state. Okay. So if I compile it now, now you can see that all the warnings are gone. It was an error. They weren't errors, but they were warnings. For, so now if I if I want to check this out, I think I can maybe uh, move this out here a little bit. Maybe increase the size of the window. Okay, and if I just say this and let's say floor turn table camera follow. Okay, and let's see previous scene settings, uh, they're all here. That's okay. So going back to details, I don't have to go back to details. Now I'll just go over to the Anim preview editor and let's test this out. So now with the direction of, let's say the direction is 10. Okay. And the speed is, let's say 250. Okay. And now you have something between zero to 600, which is not even half speed. So he's kind of walking very slowly. So if I say 350, he'll be walking a little faster. And if I say 450, he'll be walking even faster. 600, he is sprinting. Now, I change the direction. Let's say I move, make him move to uh, 25 and he he's turned right. If I say minus 25, he's turned left. Okay, and I say, let's say minus 100, he is going to turn all the way to the right and so on. So, it's working. It's working. So, if I can go back to zero, he's heading straight down. And let's say I say 100 and or minus 180 and he's gonna move backwards now again the speed can be manipulated as well so if I bring him down to 120 he's gonna walk slowly backwards and zero he's gonna be standing there and idling away because everything depends the whole motion thing depends on the speed that he's gonna be running at uh, the speed at which the character is moving now Conveniently, you also have the idle to thre run threshold. So if you want to manipulate this, so let's say I want to manipulate this to, let's say 20. Okay. So I want to say 20 and if I, let's say if I say 15, not, nothing's going to happen. That's because, and if I bring in the direction here, he's still idling away. So the speed has to be a little greater. So let's, let's say 20 and even that's not going to happen. So if I say 21, you start slowly moving out and 25 and there you go. and 30 and they go 40 50 and he's slowly 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 walking and let's say 100 he started to walk okay and he is walking very cautiously and if i say say 150 so he's going to walk like that now it's pretty evident and i move the direction backwards and i say 180 and he's moving slowly at the same speed backwards. Now, of course, if I bring it back down to 20, he's gonna stop right there. Okay, so it works. We've seen that it works pretty fine. So I'm gonna set this back to its original values and this original value is 10 and everything is good enough. Okay, compile that, save that. So now the only thing that remains is to set up this character in the game because we know that animation works. Okay, and of course it says switch to edit the preview uh, instance properties if I click that and it says changes made to preview only changes will not be saved okay and so on okay and so I'll see in the next video where we can set up this character now and I think I'll reset it back in its original form and this is also good enough and thankfully because we have this camera follow so we're not going to lose the character in fact if I take away camera follow and if I ch check this I say 250 and still have the camera follow but it's still better to have the camera follow on anyways back here and hit apply there you go